Okay, things are mostly working, which is a good sign. Um, I will say my computer freaked out just before broadcast started, so I've gotten all that out of the way. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Yeah, exactly. Oh. To make them not work? No, 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 no. Please. Please. I've No thanks. Had one. Um, oh, by the way, that reminds me. Uh, while I'm thinking about it. Do, do, do. Let me go in here. Do, do. There. It's a very subtle change, but it's your change, and I made sure that you got it in there, Elena. Um, oh, did you make it her? I made it hers. Did you set she, her color in there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Noise. Well, hello, hello, everyone. Um, hello, well, hello there. Hello, Warbear and Elena and Liz and Butterkitty and Viv and Rar and Fritz and, of course, Lolly in the Chucklefuck Gallery with me. Um, Warbear, thanks for the lurk, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, it's been a couple weeks. Um, like, no hello to Lollipop. He's lost to the Steam Deck. That's true. Yeah, we've lost Lollipop forever. Um, he has, he, his new Steam Deck arrived today. Um, so, and he's taken tomorrow and Friday off from work. So he's literally just, <laughs> I'm now a tech widow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just now, <laughs> just now. Yeah. Um, so for the next couple of days, Lolly will be laying in bed with his new fancy handheld gaming console playing mass effect. That's what he's going to be doing for the next couple of days. I'm not going to just play mass effect. No, I mean, I'm gonna install 14 on it too, uh, and I'm going to install retro games. There it is. Here, let me. Let me see. You're coming in a little fuzzy. Let's see what I can do about that. We're in U.S. East. Let's change this to U.S. South, and see how that goes. And... Esper needs it for everyday hustling. <gasps> Karen, hello, Karen. Okay, so, uh, there. Can you hear, can you still hear me? Yes. Okay. I think maybe your headset's being wonky. I mean, it might be. Uh, I'm getting, I was saying my headset's being a little crackly. I, I I have a theory that my, um, the USB hub I plug it into is dying. Ah, uh, that can do so... it. That can do it. That can do it. Um, well, Karen, thank you for the resub for six freaking months. Holy shit. Um, that's fantastic. Um, okay, so let's, 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 uh, let's get going. Um, I guess I should put on some kind of background audio. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Oh my god, Viv. 15 fucking months, buddy. Um, let's, let me do this. I guess I better go ahead and, and get this rolling now. Derp. And derp. Don't care about that. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. I love it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Ew. There we go. Oh, this is some. This is some lo-fi Minecraft. It feel, sounds like it. It yeah. It sounds like it, doesn't it? All right. So let me get the hat on. Okay. So let's see. Uh, hello, Danielle. Hello. Let's see. Um, God, I'm just catching up on everything. I'm I'm very not here right now. Like everything is just ooh. And you actually had to work for once in your life today, buddy. Yeah, I did have to work today, and I uh, needs it for every caught day up hustling. on everything. Oh, uh, Evie for seven months. Holy shit, snacks. <laughs> Evie materializes. Okay, everything's good. Evie's here now. It's good. Um, I had to do part of your job for, what, like a week and a half? So yeah, I have the right to complain about how little you do. Yeah, that's true. That's true. How how did that go for you, buddy? Did you enjoy that? 
I had to socialize. I'm I'm mad at you. Yeah, you're welcome. See, I talk to people so you don't have to. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's that's basically what my job as a manager is, is I talk to everybody else so the developers don't have to. Listen, I I take the specs from the customer and I give them to the engineers. I am I good actually, at dealing with people. I, uh, I was actually talking to our uh, our scrum coach about that today it. and because I was I'm like I was telling him about how I, I try to actively avoid talking to people at work so that I don't have to deal with that crap and he was like, How do you do that? And I'm like, Well, I'm pretty sure I've maxed my title for <laughs> being able to do that regularly. Yeah, yeah that's it. Like you're <laughs> Any anything anything further up from where you are now, you will have to deal with people. That's just, or with more people than you already do. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it is. Um. So let's see. Elliot's our Elliot is your scrum coach. That's right. That's right. We have scrum coaches at work, but Elliot is is Lolly and Elena's scrum coach. That's because he likes to sing the song of his people, and by his people, I mean loud, fluffy cats. Oh, okay. do I have a mat with conclusions I, I can jump to? No, I do not. Speaking of, I have tried multiple times in my life mm -hmm. to look for a jump to conclusions mat. I have looked for them, and I cannot find one anywhere. I had one once. The do they actually make them? Where, where the hell did you get it from? Not anymore. Not anymore. So ThinkGeek used to have this whole like office space pack um, that you could get. And it came with like the jump to conclusions mat. It came with a miniature red swing line stapler. It came with the banner, like a miniature version of the banner that says, is this good for the company? It was like this whole thing. Uh, yeah. See, see, you probably have the same one that I have. Y'all probably have the same one that I have, Amy. Um, uh but yes, um, okay. So let's let let me let me get caught up because I'm I'm still way behind. Um, Rar, be careful in traffic. Um, let's see. I said hi to War Bear and thanks for the lurk. Um, Liz, very good luck on your date. I hope everything goes well with all of you, um, and everybody meshes really well. Um, Daniel, I have missed you a great deal, and also Karen. Um, let's see, and then Evie and Butter Kitty are here. Matt's here. Okay, all right. So I think I think we're mostly caught up. I think. Um. So that's. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, as as most of you are aware, uh, Bean and I were gone for the last couple of weeks. Uh, we finally went on our honeymoon. Uh, we flew to Seattle for a couple of days, went on an Alaskan cruise, um, and spent one more day in Seattle before coming back to uh, back here to the hellhole known as Florida. Um, Elena, that's, I, I didn't think that was up for debate. I thought that was just like a, I thought we just understood that that was like, that's part of, that's part of research, which you were exceedingly good at. You found him the map. Oh, oh, well, there you go. No, Danielle, I was not on the boat that hit the iceberg. Um, <laughs> you know, I've had, I've had several people ask me about that in the last week and thankfully no my boat was not the one that hit the iceberg um we did however have to change our itinerary um so we were scheduled for one of our stops to be in skagway alaska um and we also had an excursion plan there skagway skagway um it sounds like a supermarket chain doesn't it hey, i'm going down the skagway uh, to pick up some milk and eggs you need anything Get me some baloney while you're there. Hey, thank you all Skagway. for that hype train right out of the gate. Uh. Whenever I hear skags, I think of Borderlands. So no, oh. no, not a grocery store. <laughs> okay, Reverse. that's no, that's fair. That's fair. Reverse. Um, 
So the the stop in Skagway actually had to be changed to uh, Icy Straight Point um, because the week before we went on the cruise, there was a landslide in Skagway, and the landslide damaged part of the dock where the cruise ships, um, they actually dock, come into port. Um, so we weren't able to stop in Skagway. Um, we were very disappointed, um, because we were very much looking forward to the train ride that was, uh, that we had scheduled for, um, uh, um, for that, that port of call. Um, but all in all, it still ended up being a fantastic trip. We ate some incredible food. Um, I had several meats. There was one dinner where I either f fully partook of or sampled in some form four different entrees at once. So that was, boy, that was just chef's kiss. Um, the landscape going through the inside passage of Alaska, absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous. Um, we got to see some whales, um, not very much. We saw some tails, we saw some spouts, you know, we saw some fins. Um, do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. There was there was some chocolate delivery. There was there was some there was some chocolate, yeah. Which of course there was. Um mm. We did have to test for COVID before getting on the boat, so you know, proud to say that we were both negative, so that worked out, you know, really well for us and of course we had to be to in order to get on the boat. Um So very, very happy about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but like, I just, this one picture, this one picture I want to show y'all because it is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, let's see if it'll, all right, are you going to behave? Are you going to do what I want you to? God damn it. It keeps doing this. This is when, that was when we were almost there. Oh, we did, we did find a store. Um, like, we were, we walked by this sign, and I had to stop and immediately take a picture and send it to Elena. Uh, because it is, in fact, uh, the store that she's been asking for her entire life. Where literally everything they sell is purple. It is exactly a store for you. Just fantastic. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think what else that we had. That's definitely a front for something. Yeah, like they're they're doing some kind of money laundering there. Oh, oh, they had a uh, roller grill for hot dogs on the boat. And, so, you know, the first thing I ate when I got on the boat was a hot dog. There's a roller grill here, and you can see, here's like, it's one of these little doodads that looks like um, where they keep the combs at the barber, but it's just a big old mess of hot dogs. So I'm into <laughs> it. I'm into it. Let's see, what else? Uh, we had some ramen. Oh, so they had, so they had like, TV that you could watch on the boat, you know, kind of like when you're on a plane, same kind of deal. And of course they had the love boat. Now, not everybody knows this. Um, cause I know not a lot of folks remember watching the love boat. It was on late seventies, early eighties. The love boat took place aboard the Pacific princess. We took a princess boat. We actually were on the discovery princess, the newest ship in their fleet. Um, and so Princess Cruises is licensed to play and use the love boat. So the boat itself, the horn on the boat, 
it would do like a normal bong, but it could also, and they did it a couple of times, it could also play the first few notes of the Love Boat theme, which I thought was pretty fantastic. Uh, see, see, y'all, y'all get it. Y'all get it. But yeah, um, so we had that. Um, mm. let's see, I'm trying to, trying to get back to this one picture because it like, it's gorgeous, but it keeps resetting. Let's see if this, there we go. That's just an idea of what it looked like. For fuck's sake, thing. Everyone, please control yourselves. This oh my is god. A party. And... No! Hi, Mochi. Mochi, what were you working on tonight? She's always doing something. She's always doing something cool. Can I open this in something else? What else can I open this with? Eh, I'll open it in paint and see what happens. Paint, do you? Shut up. Paint has full screen now. Anyway, there you go. There's a picture of what it looks like in the inside passage in Alaska. Um, working on sprites for stream avatars. Nice. Everyone gets to be a sailor. Yes. Yes. I want it. I need it. Um... But welcome in, Raiders. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Zunderscore. I'm a variety streamer. I do this typically four nights a week. Tonight's group therapy night, we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things tonight because it's my first night back after two weeks of being on vacation in a beautiful place such as you see up here. Um, I was gone in Alaska for uh, a week. Um, and so... Uh, um, but yeah, Wednesdays are group therapy nights, uh, Fridays are Xbox Game Pass you pick nights where you can save your channel points and pick a game for me to play on a future stream. Uh, this Friday we're actually scheduled to do something show, a little special. As usual. <gasps> Danielle, thank you for the host. Um, we're scheduled to do something a little special with our friend Sassinator. She's going to be joining us for Just Die Already, which is basically a slapstick game where a More bunch of old bear. people More escape good. from a retirement home and are trying to do things on their bucket list. Yowza? Is it Yowza? Did I, did I pronounce it right? Regardless, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, nice. Yes. Yes. First try. First try. <laughs> Just start playing 14. <gasps> really? You know, you know. If you're not too attached to the data center and server that you're in, I know one that's pretty fantastic because it just happens to have the best free company in the entire universe. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Um, but on Monday nights, we actually play 14. Uh, that's what we do for MMO Mondays right now is we're playing 14. Uh, I'm going through and doing a bunch of side quests, um, post 3.0 um so i just finished like the the very like um like the very end of 3.0 stuff for um like the heavensward expansion so i still got like the patch stuff to do leading up to um stormblood um which is uh where i'll be heading here in the next few weeks um you already tried to get what, him on your what, server what, well that's what, what 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 did i did i did i hear that right you're you're gonna you're going you have plans to msq again i i i, I don't i don't know where you did get I hear such that? an idea did i hear that correctly i don't uh, I, 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 I just anyway. want to make sure i understood that correctly I, uh, I, I told you i would respect that you want to be on your side quest bullshit i just want to know how long that's going to be i mean i don't know it, it could be it, it could be a couple weeks it could be like a couple more months i don't know yet but eventually i will be going to stormblood i i still got to do my patch quest i still got to go work toward it but i'll be there you know eventually um 
And then Sundays we alternate between Fortnite, which we're doing this week, and Retro Night, which we're doing the week after. Uh, don't know what game I'm doing. We'll figure it out. We've got plenty of time. Listen, it's my first stream back. Okay. Speaking of, hey, okay. do you even remember how to do this anymore? No, I have no idea. Well, okay, that's I can't say that because, in fairness to me, I've never known what I'm doing. I've no, I've I haven't had a clue what I've been doing since I started this whole thing. So that's yeah. oh. I got nothing. I know I it kind nothing. of defeats the purpose, but I wish that there. Uh, I, I already know something that I want the Steam Deck to do for me. Go on then. Auto accepting EULAs, please. Oh man. I I know that it shouldn't, but I want it to. I know you, it shouldn't, but I understand why you want it to. Uh just break out of life and go. Yeah, right, right. Uh. Uh. Okay. So. Oh, one other one other picture I do want to show you. Um, so when you set up your stuff with a princess cruise, they have this thing called medallion net, right? Um, and you have like this little, this little diddly bobber thing. Okay. That you can either wear on a lanyard or like, I got the little watch looking thing for it and it works everywhere. It, it tracks where you are. It knows where you are on the boat. So if you order drinks and food or whatever, it brings it, they'll bring it to you. They'll know where you are because there are sensors everywhere knowing where you are, okay? Um, it's also how you get on and off the boat. So instead of like having to show your ID and then verify your name and put you on a list, blah, 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 you just scan your medallion. They have like a security photo of your face and name and, and date of birth, and all that shit. They already have it in the system because you set it up before you go. And they're like, okay, cool. Exactly like the Fast Pass at Disney World, like the Magic Bands at Disney World, exactly like that, okay? Um, with short and long range sensors in it. Same, same exact concept okay well um when we set all this up we told them that it was our our honeymoon and so there were a couple of times around the boat like we approached the the door at one point and you can see it i set it up with our icons on there um so anywhere we would go it would know us and it would show our icons or our faces um and we came with like one time we walked up and it detected us like actually walking up together because usually it picked hers up before it picked mine up because mine like I had down on my rest on my side her she had in her purse or like around her neck so it was a little like further above um anywhere I go people always know <laughs> I'm watching you Viv um but we uh it, uh the the door a couple of times actually said congratulations. Uh, there were a couple of, like the big screens. There were like these big TV screens all over the boat for getting directions, um, for knowing the activities of the day, announcements, things like that. And there were a couple of times when it detected us walking by into the one of the elevator areas, and it actually did like one of them went all full screen. Congratulations, Zach and Sabrina. It was really it was really cute. Um, so yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Um, okay, so we can talk more about vacation and food and all that stuff later. Uh, you know, great stuff. Fantastic stuff. Um, but let's talk about some stream stuff. Uh, okay, so speaking of follows, we didn't quite hit our follower goal for June. We tried. We gave it a really good effort. Didn't quite get there. Um, so it is time for a new goal. Time to end this goal. Goodbye goal. It's gone. It's already gone. And let's start a new one. And we're going to do our July follower goal. And I am going to shoot for... I lied, Lolly. What are you what are you doing? We go for 585, okay? New follower goal has started. So we need 36 new followers in the month of July starting right now. Um in order to meet this month's follower goal. Now, I I say this every single month, but every month that we hit our follower goal before the end of the month, the first stream of the next month, I will give away a three-month Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription to 
anyone who's in chat who's eligible, okay? If you're here and you're in chat, you are eligible to win, okay? So tell your friends, tell everybody to come follow the channel, come hang out with us, and if we meet that goal by the end of July, the first stream of August, I'm going to give away that three-month Xbox Game Pass sub, okay? Um, so, yeah. More proof that That's Disney World is basically something. Land Cruise. Yeah, oh, it absolutely is, except the food's not included. That's something I need to figure out. Wait, what is it? What is Viv saying that he wants to win? A new car! Where's uh where's where's Allie Beth when we need her to do new car dance? Uh, uh probably doing a dance in her new car. That's true. That's true. So uh Allie Beth actually got to do new car dance IRL this week because she got a new car. So, you know, big ups to her. That's pretty fantastic. Let's see. Entertain the idea of buying an Xbox so you get Game Pass on the TV, but decide not to right now. It's part of my got employee store bonus. We end up getting one for eighteen fifty. Oh, listen, getting that game pass, man. It's good stuff. And now, and Ultimate's nice too because even if you don't have the console, you still get the PC games. With Ultimate, you get the PC games, you get EA Play PC games, and you also get the cloud streaming, which has like a couple hundred games that are cloud streamable right now. Um, most Fridays when I'm doing Game Pass titles, I will st cloud stream them. Um, just because I love it, and it's like one less thing I have to set up and make sure everything's working and blah, blah, blah. Um, like, I just, I love it. I love everything about it. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I'm not here to shill right now. Um, oh, by the way, speaking of being a shill, Lolly, you'll appreciate this. Uh, I was going through uh, my backpack because I took my backpack with me to have my laptop and be able to, to bring back a couple of souvenirs and stuff. And taking out some extraneous stuff, I found um, I found my old uh, my old business card case. Oh no! No, I know where this is going. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. Oh. oh. That is way better than I thought it was going to be. Why would you think it was going to be? The business cards from the place that won't be named. Oh, no, 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 no. This this actually has my... Uh, no, this has my personal business cards with, like, all of my old email and stuff on them. Uh, that I designed myself, though. All of my All of my, like, business cards and shit, though, I designed myself. There's, like, I think once, maybe, I didn't. Once or twice. But I'm leaning towards once. I didn't design my own, um, my my own business card, and I was like, mm, no, I'm I'm gonna keep doing it. Do you have Game Pass? It's ultimate because Microsoft gives it to employees for free. Just waffling on getting the Xbox, but you couldn't pass up one for so cheap. I mean, fuck no, Mochi, absolutely, hell yeah, get that, swallow up that fucking free or nearly free Xbox while you can. Shit, yeah. Um, all right, so new follower goal. Okay, new follower goal. It's over there. Once again, if you're not following, please consider following. We have such a fun time here. I love it. This is just, I live for this fucking show. I absolutely do. Um, like, I, I, do, I do all kinds of stuff around this to enable this show. Like, I've got extensions that I've built inside of OBS for this. Um... That I've built into the bot, you know, blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, Mochi, it's 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 on pause right now, only because the backlog got really big, and I still have another thing that I've got to, um, you know, we're doing this Friday, so. Um, you're still considering it six months later. Listen, listen, it's, you know, Karen. Karen is is she the the jury is still out for Karen. She's she's not sure whether or not she's really having a good time here. I, just, I mean that's fair, Karen. That's fair. 
That's fair. You want to play Eat Mewtwo? Oh my god. I'm not playing Eat Mewtwo. I still got it, though. Here we are, another two weeks later, and it's still fucking here. Seriously, this thing doesn't decay. It's really... It's concerning, but I'm still going to stuff myself full of double stuff Oreos anyway. Um, it takes you some time. That's fair, Karen. That's fair. Um, hey. Hey. Uh, so, listen. Um, all hail the Mewtwo. <laughs> uh, let me open uh, the stream deck real quick to update a couple of config items here. Cause I'm, like I said, just getting back in the swing of things. A little behind, you know. It happens. It happens. Um, let me go here. As always, we are doing it live. Um, let's see. God, I fucking love Oreos. I love them so much. Mm, so games in my library that are deck verified. Mm -hmm. uh, Braid, Dead Space. Dead Space, wow. Okay. Devil May Cry 5. Ooh. Featuring Dante. Don't starve together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh my god you're welcome right, this is the thing i didn't this is the thing i didn't tell you from work and i'm gonna tell you now because this is hilarious we were in the um the pre-review for, uh -huh. for sprint review like the the, the practice run uh-huh and um the i won't i won't name specifics but the name for uh the 2.0 project that we're working on they apparently still haven't hammered down the name of what they want to call it right so they were There's, people were just spitting out a whole bunch of names they're still calling it blue harvest internally the code name for fucking star wars yes yes that's exactly what they're doing so i started they were starting to come up with different names so i started I, at some point, I said new Nintendo Blue Harvest DS, 3DS XL I and Knuckles featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> and people understood what I was talking about. Did people actually know? <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Well, the only one that didn't was Star Wars Kid Fan, and I had to. I linked her some context. Oh, this, 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 <laughs> this sweet child. This sweet child. Um, I put your streaming in, you're being too hard on yourself for being bad at games you haven't played in 20 years. Listen, Fritz, I'm not good at these games. I am not good at these games, okay? And the games, like most of the games that I play, other than Retro Knight, are modern games, which aren't nearly as unforgiving as the games that you play um because fritz is out here playing nes games okay like he's he's playing some old school shit constantly like og final fantasy um listen it's fritz buddy we are old and games are hard and the older we get the harder those old games get because we keep getting it slightly easier you know, unless you're playing uh, uh, um, a Dark Souls game, then then it's fine. That's that. Play Dark Souls, then go back and play a retro game, and then it's fine. Um, but yeah. So listen, um, we we all know that I we have some incredible emotes. Um, oh, the bot! I gotta I gotta fix this. Hold on, hold please. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Okay, I got it. Don't don't worry about that. That's just that's just housekeeping. It's just housekeeping. All right, that's all that is. Um, 
Because I, I meant to do that earlier. Okay. So, you know we have some fantastic emotes in this channel. And all of the good ones, and I say all of the good ones because the only one that wasn't was the Cranberry, which is just absolute trash. All of the good ones were made by our friend Alonka Sims, okay? Mm -hmm. I got on Alonka's list again, and she worked on some stuff while I was gone. Folks, I just... Folks, you need to know there are loaf emotes now. He noms the finger. She oh noms the finger. Folks, there are loaf emotes now. And Karen has found the other one. We finally have a chirky emote. Now, for those of you who weren't here for the horse shit that went down several months ago, there was a night when me, Mo, Cracko, and Fire all played golf with your friends together. And it was just ridiculous and fantastic. And what the fuck was that night? It was great. But that night gave birth to turkey or chocolate covered turkey and listen i know that artists when they get commissions for things they occasionally get some just off the wall requests and you gotta admit this one's a little weird but we got a turkey emote now and on top of that on top of that let me go back here I had her make a high resolution one for merch so that we can fire up the Cherky Mart. And I can finally start oh. making Cherky merch. Oh, God. And I have already looked into what it would take to get a set, just one, just one set, just, just a pair of turkey mud flaps viv buddy i am working on getting you a turkey trucker hat but there you have it there it is turkey lives chocolate turducken now listen evie we have a responsibility ice bear is ready to tokyo drift <gasps> Holy shit, thank you for the 700 bits. Now, now wait a second. Now, wait a second, Amy. 700 seems to be a fairly specific number. Oh, you got your 5K bits badge. Now, now what's the emote that you got for 5,000 bits? It's the loaf. Loaf is the five thousand. Loaf is the five thousand bit reward. So for a thousand, if you, uh, the the thousand bit is bean. The five thousand is loaf. <laughs> yes, exactly that. Exactly that, Lolly. See, he gets it. <laughs> oh yeah, Mochi. It was this whole thing. Yeah, this that night was just ridiculous. <laughs> chocolate duck. No, that's what we have Viv for. We just cover Viv in chocolate. You know, consensually, but we, we do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bow chicka. Bow wow. We cover Viv in chocolate, and then as Viv is demonstrating in the chat, we nom on him. Yeah. It is a capital L. Make sure, because emotes are case sensitive, so make sure you use the capital L, Amy. But it should, you should have it now. Nom, nom, nom. Now, and I will tell you, I will tell you uh, that that was actually inspired by. There once was a cat with a hungry belly. The name of the cat was Whiskers Jelly. His throat was dry and his bowl was bare. Meow, me furry cat's meow. 
Soon may the caiman come with birds and mice and some tasty nums. One day when the craters come, we'll eat till our bellies are full. And also, Troll, I know there's a bug with with gift recurring gifts not firing off alerts that the bot team is looking into. But buddy, thanks for continuing that gift show, sub. As usual. It is good to see you, and thank you for the host. Always a pleasure, my dude. There you go. There you go. Zunder to loaf with a capital L. Listen, it, as I always do, as I always do, I always get merch size versions. I always get high res versions for merch. So there will eventually be loaf, loaf merch. Had to reboot Twitch. Oh, that'll yeah, that'll do it. Now, what's really funny about this is this particular. Let me go into the loaf folder where there are 905 items. Bean hasn't done a recent dump of her images, so. Um, so the loaf, the loaf nom. Um, <gasps> hi, secret. Okay, so let me, let's go here. This is the nom. This is the emote, okay? This is the reference picture. And there's another one where she's just chomping on my fingy. Nom 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 nom. Oh my god. Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Oh, there she is being Man. lazy. There's a chomp. Loaf. Loaf has done a good job making it known that you are a snack. Mm -hmm. I apparently have a flavor. I apparently have a flavor. <laughs> probably chimkin. I probably do taste like chimkin, yeah. Yeah. But there there's the loaf. That's the loaf arino. She has been licking the shit out of me for the last three days. Three? Yeah. Like, since we got home, she has been all over me. Like, every time I go and sit at my chair, my spot downstairs, Iceberg needs it for every she day will hustling. get up on top of me. <gasps> Secret! Secret, thank you for that resub for five months. I appreciate you, friendo. All the hot dogs, I'm saturated with them. It's true, and I always eat the Oscar Myers, like the regular Oscar Mayer wieners, which is like the blend of, like, beef, pork, and chicken. So, I know, that's what she... That's That's how she is, Karen. Like, she's been... She's been very extra snuggly since we got home. She's been so snuggly and so many kisses and so many chomps. But yeah. Yeah, that's that's the loaferino. Doing the heckin' chomps. Being the best kitty. As she do. Uh, the clown at the company shopping made decided that 32 bit PC games can't run on their 64 bit OSs. That's no, that's uh, that's a thing for the the actual game developer. 32 bit apps and games run fine on 64 bit OSs. That's a game specific issue. There it is. There's the nom. Nom 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 nom. nom. In case anyone was wondering, uh, Power Wash Simulator is verified for Steam Deck. Nice. Oh, it's coming out on console, too. It's coming out on Game Pass here in a few weeks. Um, yep, and once my uh, once Mass Effect's done downloading, I'm going to add Game Pass streaming, cloud streaming, as a non-Steam game there you to go. my Steam Deck. There you go. The, the, the actual... <laughs> The roll is a uh, the roll is a tier two sub emote. So if you want the loaf roll, it's tier two. That's the roll. Install the game twice to make it sixty four. But see, Dom knows what's up. Also, hi, Dommy. I love you, buddy. Um, but yeah, that's my loaf. That's my loaf. Okay, so oh, it's a sixteen bit. Ah, aha. See, 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 Fritz. 
Uh, excuse you, Dom. I will have you know that. Wait, where's the button? There it is. Reverse. Reverse. I'll find the button. I couldn't find it. <laughs> Install four times. There you go. Install it four times. Then on your 16-bit game will be 64-bit. So yeah. Um. So that's that. Um, so we got new loaf emotes. We got a Cherky emote. I got um, high res versions so that we can do all of uh, merch for all of them. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show really quick in preview. Let's see here. Iceberg like needs it for everyday hustling. <gasps> Secret, thank you for gifting a sub to Danielle. That's, see, that's a good best friend right there. That's a solid best friend move. All right. So something that I'm working on, and I still have, I still have some stuff that I need to do. Um, and... Like, I'm evaluating different things and whatnot. Oh, there it is. Dom, turn the lights all the way up. Um, so I'm working on an updated store um, that will be directly embedded on the website. Um, the first thing that will be in the store, of course, is going to be the bean shirt. Um... Ooh, a rando. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. Okay, where's the where's the box? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh boy, that one's really calling out to me. Oh, no wonder it's because it's cherry. It's good stuff. That's my best friend, <laughs> Amy. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. Uh, but yeah. So this is uh. This is what I'm I'm working on is trying to do um, evaluate new shop software uh, to make the store more seamless um, and part of the main website. So, a lot of work that needs to be done on this, but I'm getting there. I. Uh, Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, of course, the other stuff is here too. The schedule is the other thing that I want to get actually properly, like part of the site, and not just an embedded Outlook calendar. Um, but we'll we'll get to that eventually too. Um, I know, I know, Karen. I need to do it. I got to do it. Uh, what else we got going on? Um, let's see, we talked about the rule changes a couple weeks ago, talked about the new emotes, talked about me working on the store. Um, oh, I did have a small project that I wanted to show you all. So this is, this is something that I've been working on here for a little bit, um, so I started this a couple of weeks ago um, on the last last time on the Thunderstream uh, on the last group therapy night. This was the project that I started that night. So y'all you know, know I've been doing a bunch of shit in Firebot. And the latest thing that I've worked on is what I call Thunderstream Admin. So this does a lot of stuff that um, the COE, ha ha Dom, ha ha. Hey Karsis, how are you? Good to see you. Um, so this is a lot of like the maintenance stuff that I do for the stream. Um, so things like editing the stream info for like the title and go live and category and tags and all that stuff. I have a one click button to do that. Instead of having to dig through layers. Packed full of food. Fuck yeah, food. 
Um, things like updating the lower third, just like that. We'll update it again. There we go. Updating the items on the news bar. And I did some styling on these to kind of give it an idea of what it would look like, you know, um, in preview. Updating the U-Pick list, turning the lights on and off, um, a bunch of OBS control stuff, and the BRB scene. Um, so a lot of stuff that I've added in here just for things to, for me to be able to like one tap, one click, do things. Um, just for, you know, getting everything set up. Like tonight, I didn't come up here until like 15 minutes before stream started because I didn't need to. Um, and we finished watching Obi-Wan, which was just excellent. Loved it. So good. So good. Um, but yeah. So been working on that trying to streamline things make the stream and like this whole production easier for me to manage um i am also looking at getting some new hardware potentially maybe um i did just secret get some captain huh I said, that's your secret captain <laughs> i'm always thinking about getting new hardware <laughs> tell me i'm wrong i did look at a 3090 ti today Could SLI it with your 3090? Because fuck, why not? I don't think you can SLI them at different, uh... I don't think you can SLI different cards like that, can you? They have to be I don't the know same. that you can SLI them anymore. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're phasing that out. I think they both support it. They just, um... Um... They just don't, um... Can't cross-model... But have to have like two 3090s or two 3090 TIs. Um, but as of right now, I think they still support it. I don't know what I would do with 48 gigs of video memory. But hey, what the hell ever. Um, am I able to save all my settings for reuse? Um, so for this, this is mostly dynamic stuff anyway. That feeds from either other settings or stuff that's inside like either... Stuff that's stored in files or stuff from the bot itself. Um, so yes, I am technically able to save those settings because a lot of that stuff is saved to disk already. Um, so like the lower third, that's a text file. The news bar items, text file. The you pick list, same thing. And then the rest of it is just commands. And then the bot has a backup and then I back up the backup. So... What if I made a shrine for Mewtwo inside a clear PC tower? The only problem that I have with that is I don't know how the excessive heat would work with it. And then the sugars would get all weird and then it would melt inside the PC. And then, then you have what's called a fire. I don't want that. I, uh... Not a huge fan. Um... Of, you know, the house burning down. The Chew, the Chew, the Mewtwo's on fire. Um, but yeah, so. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting there's a sugar global emote. I, sure, man. Oh, because there's a salt emote too. You well, know, there's a salt and a sugar emote. Uh, anyway, um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm think the hardware I'm thinking about getting is, uh, a new soundboard. Um, so Rode just came out, Rode makes a lot of just fantastic, um, audio and specifically like podcast quality stuff. Uh, and they just came out with their new Rodecaster Pro 2, which is like their all-in-one like studio board. Um, and like, I got to tell you, it's beautiful. Like, this is a beautiful piece of hardware. It's absolutely gorgeous. Does all kinds of stuff. 
plenty of inputs and headphone outputs. Like I love that it has four separate headphone outputs. So if you have four people on mics, you can have four headphones, like one for each of them. Um, everybody says it just feels like very premium quality, you know, fantastic stuff. Um, like much improved over the previous version. The only problem is that it retails for a thousand in the, like everywhere has it on sale right now, but it's still 700 bucks and that's a lot of fucking cash. Especially considering I just bought memory and storage for my, for the rig. So like I moved all of my games over to the new drive cause it's faster, you know. Uh, that's lewd Carsis. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like this, this looks like an impress, a really impressive, um, board, but I don't know that I could justify spending the $700 on it right now, especially after I just bought memory and storage for the rig. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see. If I ever get to expand and actually get like a bigger room or studio, then I would absolutely consider it, but I don't think I really can right now. Yeah, let's got to kick the music back on. Um, so yeah, so this is, this is what I'm looking at getting. But, you know, again, that's later, later. Not not anytime soon. Um, okay. Uh, let's see what else. Um, so I know we talked about follower goal, um, but I want to kind of do like a six month check in, mostly with myself, but so that all of y'all know kind of where my head's at. Um, so. At the beginning of the year, let me go see if I can go find it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to make sure that I get this right. Okay. So it is July the 6th today. Um, so right at six months ago on January 4th, um, I s kind of laid out, I guess it was like late January 3rd. But still, um, I kind of set out my goals that I wanted to hit this year. Um, and I knew that they were going to be big and very difficult to attain. Um, but this is, you know, I, I wanted to have something big to shoot for so that even if I didn't get what I was like what my actual goal was, I could still make some really good traction. Um, I, I don't think I've really made it any secret. That this, between this and the voice stuff, I want this to be like my full-time career. This is, I, I want a career in media. Uh, I have for a very long time. Um, and I'm finally just like, you know, in the last year hunkering down and trying to do what I can about it. Um, so the goals that I laid out were, there were three that I, I specifically laid out. Actually, I guess it's technically four, but I kind of lumped two of them together. Um, the first one I'm completely behind on. I wanted to book at least one voice gig every month this year. Um, that means I should have booked six. I have booked zero. That's because I have applied to like two. Um, I've kind of fallen way behind on it. Life has happened. A lot has, has been going on. 
Um, now that we've gotten, you know, a lot of stuff out of the way the last several months, I'm, I'm going to be able to at least try to do a little more focus on that here in the upcoming weeks. I spray will steal show as um, usual. Fritz, thanks for the host, buddy. Um, but that's what I want to get to that point where I've got like by, you know, December 31st, 12 voice gigs, even if it's little stuff, I don't, I don't care. I don't I don't care how big or small it is, but I want to book 12 voice gigs and have them done by the end of the calendar year. Um pay me to read Harry Potter one. I I have been thinking about audiobooks like quite a bit. I would I would read audiobooks. I would I think I would enjoy that too. But I think I'd like reading children's books, like ch- like young children's books. I think I would really like that. Um The second one was get to 250 YouTube subscribers and start doing more exclusive content there. Uh, I don't care how big or small it is. Tis what she proclaimed. Nice. Nice, Viv. <laughs> nice. Um, so YouTube subscribers way behind on, and I haven't made any content for YouTube. I, I just haven't. It's, and that's, that's, you know, it's... So the book of Mommy, Why Is There a Server in the House? Yes, Dom, ac- Absolutely. I would absolutely do an audiobook of that. In fact, I have been meaning to get with the powers that be on that cuz you know that's a that's a collab with the mothership and read that even though it doesn't matter anymore. Phrasing. Oh, secret me too. Me too. Although um like uh someone said that they have a they had a friend who was on that boat. Um, someone at work, and like it didn't end up doing any real like damage to the boat. Like it did, but not like you know anything life threatening by far. So they basically got a refund of their cruise, credit for future cruise, free drinks, and they missed one of their ports of call. So all in all, it you know it worked out fairly well for everybody except the the cruise line itself. So that's good. Um, but anyway. Uh, oh, fake secret. Oh. See, Mochi understands. Um, Dan's on his way home, so we're going to start dinner. Ooh, Mochi, what you making for dinner? You know, you know, I got to ask. Um, so yeah, I haven't done anything for YouTube. Like the only thing that I've been putting up there is, um, dropping the VODs off, dropping the VODs off at the pool. Um, just flushing them over there as soon as they're they're ready. Um, oh, secret! Thank you for the lurk. A steel whistle. Um, I don't know. Me. I don't think so. I don't hear it. Um, but anyway, uh, so I wanted I want to do some I want to do YouTube content. Just not sure what yet. Just n- not really sure what. If there are like, and I want to do short things like stuff that's no more than like five minutes. Like I want to do just little stuff because I don't have much time to do you know big long produced stuff like twenty thirty hour long stuff. Um. Oh, okay. Sorry, Carsis. I'm just listen. It's. Brain's still very fuzzy. Still very fuzzy. I'm I'm with you now. Kraft mac and cheese, fixing up some ribs. Oh, rib sandwiches. Pickle some cabbage really quick. Yes. yes. Pickles and cabbage. Pickles and cabbage. Hoagies and grinders. Navy beans. Navy beans. Mm. Me love sandwich. Slobby Joe. Um, so yeah, like right now on YouTube, I am at, I want to say at 39, let me see where I am, 35, I'm at 35, so I have 215 to go to hit my, um, ah, Garth has got it, uh, to, to hit my YouTube subscriber goal, and I get it, I get it, like it's, you know, I'm I don't have other content up there right now to really attract more viewership, more subscriptions, so I get it. 
I agree. I get it. Um, what about what about building your your following on your subreddit? We don't talk about the subreddit. Carsis, thanks for that sub, buddy. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> we don't listen. I will. <laughs> I will say this. I. This fucking guy over here, this guy, this guy <laughs> made some fucking comment about, about a subreddit. So, so I built, I made one, I propped one up and of course he posted the splat clip where he splatted onto the deck of the SS Crazens. So yes, there is a subreddit. I don't look at it. I don't, I, I, I got it purely to have it. You got it because I threatened to take it. Yes, that's that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Because I forget the context, but I, I, I threatened to start making your name under everything I could find a while back. You're such a jerk. Such a big old jerk. Anyway. Yes, Bucci. He got it specifically before I did. Yes, that's... Me. He, that's the someone else. This fucking guy right here is the someone else. So, Listen, yeah. I'm just... You've you've complained several times that on several sites you don't have his underscore, so I'm just making sure you get on it before you lose it in other spots. I know. I know. Listen, it's it's fine. Like I don't have it on Reddit. Someone else has it. Someone else in tech, oddly enough. Um, God, don't don't do that. Because listen, Elena will absolutely go while she's while she's got Neopets in a in a tab somewhere and go steal it. Um. I listen, draw and and honestly, like he does it he does it in his own trademark trolling fashion, but he's he he is doing me a solid and I can't be that mad at him about it. <laughs> Only bears and oh my god, stop that. <laughs> Making this underscore runescape account. <laughs> god damn it, Viv. Uh God damn it, Viv. You would make a runescape account. That's just it's just the You can safely get it make make a uh, underscore PSN account and he wouldn't he wouldn't care. Actually, I someone has underscore on PSN. Someone has it. Um and they've had it for a really long time. Like a really fucking long time. Eating the dinners. Ooh, listen, eating the dinners is very important. Um So anyway, um, so yeah, got a lot that I need to do with YouTube. If there's any ideas that y'all have for things that you would like me to, to do on YouTube, jump in the Discord. Uh, there is a feedback channel. Um, it is not just for stream. It is for anything community related. Um, at some point, I'm going to start going back through that channel and like deleting things that like are done or you know um like just irrelevant stuff um because i want that to end up being like a list for me eat mewtwo mm. i'm not eating mewtwo he lives here now look at his little kitty face he's just a sweet one thing baby i will ancient kitty the, the one thing i will say about youtube just from what I've observed is that you you pick your shtick on YouTube and you don't you don't stray too far from it. Like if you decide your thing on YouTube is is hot dog and hot dog accessories, that's that's what that YouTube channel is. Yeah. Now, like it yeah. does, they don't take kindly that that algorithm does not take kindly to you shifting from from your shtick. No. No. No, crafting YouTube. I listen. I'm not. I'm not great at crafting, but it might be hilarious to watch. Then I could. Then I could build a terrible house for Mewtwo. Ooh, I could do like Krakow and build a gingerbread house, but for Mewtwo, and then put the Mewtwo in the gingerbread house. 
Although I know how to build gingerbread houses and apparently Cracko still does not. And we need to make him do that again because that was fucking hilarious. Um, I know like stuff a lot of people do is they'll like they'll have their YouTube channel for specific content and then their stream ends up being like them doing that thing and then their YouTube channel being kind of like the official of that like in a lot of games whatever game they play like they'll stream them playing the game but if they make guides or whatever they'll put those on YouTube mm. yeah I don't know I'm just uh video games you end up being able to kind of stretch it out to a genre like mmos or uh like crafting sim games and stuff like that but it's a tricky thing yeah mochi i i just didn't make thumbnails like i didn't make thumbnails i just i let i let god have her way with my thumbnails and whatever i get from the fucking video processing that's what I get. Oh, Carsis, you are a much braver soul than I am, friend. Carsis now knows what YouTube returns for hot dogs and hot dog accessories. I, I, I shudder to think the kind of just wacky content that is out there for that. Just what, what weird shit people are doing for hot dogs. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that was, that's kind of the YouTube thing. And I gotta, that's, that's something I gotta figure out. Um, the other, it's not disappointing. All right. Um, listen, I'll incognito that shit later just for my own sanity. Um, I don't take it out. yeah, incognito hot dogs. <laughs> don't you mean in private? Well, when you're in the app, it's still incognito. Is it? No, they didn't change it in the app. Well, no, no, in the in the YouTube app, because YouTube oh. the YouTube app has its own incognito mode. So much wiener. Right, listen, it's my life. Just, I had my fridge is full of them. Um. Well, that and Bean loves them. The dogs, the the, the, the wiener dogs. Yeah, yeah, that's. That too. Yeah. That yeah. too. <clears throat> um, let's see. So that's so yeah, that's the YouTube thing. Um and then we come here. So I kind of lumped this together in one bullet point. Um, but it's really two goals. So I wanted to triple my follower count and double my average viewer count by the end of this calendar year. Uh, so at the beginning of the year, let me go because Twitch tracker will tell me, um, let's go to my stats and I'm, I listen, I'm driven by numbers. It's, it's a curse. It's a curse. It is what it is. So on January 1st, but this year I had 322 followers on on the channel here. Um and my average viewer count was 17. So to hit my goal what I would need is to basically get to 1000 followers and 30 to 35 average viewers uh to hit the stream goals for the year. Um, now, obviously, if I want to triple what I had, that means I got to double. I got to get double at six months and then earn that same amount six months after on average, which means by now. I should have had about 640, so about roughly 100 more than what I've got right now. So um, I've been trying to adjust my monthly goals. Uh, to kind of account for, you know, sort of the, the average growth rate, because I still want to make attainable monthlies. Uh, but I also know that, you know, it's 
I'm not going to be able to like, you know, step up. It's it's gonna it's gonna be a little more of a curve. Um. So that's kind of where I am right now. Just wanting to check in with those goals. Um. And you know, again, sort of. You know, let let everybody know where my head's at, and I'm not doing mukbang vids. No, God, no, God, no, no. Okay, I might. No, Bean won't let me do that. Bean won't let me do that. I actually talked to her about that at one point. She's like, "No, that's that's terrible, and that you will kill yourself doing that." I'm like, "No." Listen, I eat professionally. I was a one-time hot dog contest, hot dog eating contest champion. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I, I kind of wanted to level set with everybody, let everybody know, you know, talk about where I am with everything, kind of how far I have to go. Obviously I've got, you know, about 450 followers to go, um, and got to basically double my average viewer count from where I am now. Cause it's been a little up and down this year. Um, I know a lot of things have been going on. Um, you know, life's been happening for a lot of folks. Um, with the world starting to become a slightly more livable place uh, than it was, you know, two years ago. Um, folks are getting out and doing more stuff. And I mean, I'm on in the evenings for an audience that's primarily, you know, folks that are in the evening themselves. So they're doing stuff, whether at home with their families or out, whatever it may be. Um, so, you know, I'm, I know that I still have a big kind of climb ahead of me, but, uh, you know, again, give me, give me something to, give me something to, to work towards. That's what I'm trying to do is, is working towards that and seeing how, how well I can do. So, um, I am in everything that, that has happened so far because of y'all, I cannot thank you enough for all of your support, all the love that you've given. Um, this is just, this has been a hell of a ride. I, you know, I started this a little over a year and a half ago. It was November of, uh, 2020 when I started the, started streaming and I, I didn't imagine I would, you know, get this far and still be doing it. Honestly, like I figured I'd go for a few months. It would kind of fizzle out and there we would go. But here we are. Um, you know, the channel keeps growing. Um, Y'all keep showing up mostly to listen to this fucker troll me, which honestly, sure. Sure. Oh, I doubt that. I don't know. It's it's it is pretty funny. Although sometimes, you know, when you occasionally faceplant onto the deck of a boat and die and lose all of your inventory because you're trying to steal some sea lanterns, that's pretty good content, too. I do what I gotta do. There was that time that you used Tom as a decoy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was decoy potato. God, I love that clip. Yeah, that was fantastic. I love that clip. It was so good. So good. Um, but yeah, like, I'm... I started this to kind of get, uh, you know, reconnect with, with humans and, and actually expend some of this production energy that I've had building up for years and years. I mean, I haven't done anything like this since, you know, me and my old roommate had a, a Star Trek podcast 10 years ago, um, which I think I still have all the back episodes for. Do I still have all the recordings? I bet I do. Oh, archives. Oh, wait, is it in here? Uh, oh, it is in here. Do I have all of them? Yeah, I sure do. All 36 gigs of it. Anyway, uh, I had, I had this, like, we had this, this Star Trek podcast and 
I thought it was pretty great, and I, you know, I I got to do a lot of fun stuff, and I missed doing that, and so this has kind of filled that that need in my life, um, as far as like the production stuff is concerned. Yeah, yeah, Moshi, there we, yeah, that's that's for goddamn sure. We we did. Some of the circumstances under which we met were not ideal, but goddamn, I sure am glad that we did. Um, and yes, go make your dindins. Go have go make the dindins for you and Dan. Um, but uh, yeah, I just uh, you know, again, needed to scratch that production itch. Really needed the human contact. Um, just. All that stuff, all that, all that jazz, and uh, this has really been fantastic for all of that. Um, and you know, again, I I want to make this into a thing, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if it's viable. You know, there are a lot of people that are trying to do this too, and you know. It's very hard to do, working a full-time job and trying to do this. Um, I mean, changing careers is is difficult at any for any industry, but especially something like this where, you know, I need to have, like, steady, steady income and stuff coming in, things like that. So it's, uh, yeah. It's it's going to be a big uh, of an uphill battle but I'm I'm still doing it. I'm still working on it. We'll see how it goes. So, yeah. That's uh about it. I still want to try to hit those goals. Um I know the YouTube one's going to be extremely hard to do unless I start producing content yesterday. Um but you know, Lolly's right. Once you you know, once you try to put a specific niche or theme to your YouTube channel, that's it. You got to stick to it. Otherwise, you're fucked. That algorithm is is unforgiving. Um, but in fairness, I you know, we had we've had incidents in the past where the algorithm had to be tweaked because of things like Reply Girls. Do you remember that trend, the Reply Girls? No. Where, like, someone would make a video, and then the reply girl would, like, make a, like, minute, two-minute reply video to some really popular video. And so it would show up on the side. It's like, hey, here's what's related, because it was a reply to it, but, like, half the time it still wouldn't even be, like, like the content of the video wouldn't even be related. But it was so short that they would rack up views, and it would go up in rank... And it was attached to popular Ice stuff good. because it was named More ice like with More it. Good. Terry, thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that's that was the whole reply girl thing. So like, for a little while there, like all YouTube was was like a few popular videos and then replies. It was a mess. Oh, when was this? This was this has been several years now. This has been a long time now. Yeah, because it's only been. Maybe, maybe, maybe three, four years that I've actually been paying attention to anything going on on YouTube. Oh yeah, no, this is this has been several years ago. Yeah, this is a while now. But um, yeah, I uh, I'm gonna keep going at it. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. It's gonna take a little more time. Thanks, Garces. Yeah, I'm. That's that's why I like I want to, uh, you know, for the voiceover stuff. I want to look into potentially doing readings of things, um, because I'm, you know, I enjoy it. Uh, I do think that I have a good, you know, cadence for it. So. I still 
need you to record a baseline Arms of the Angel for Bubba that you can then just put different foods in in a specific spot so that we can mourn what that poor boy cannot have. Listen, Krako and I have talked about this. We have we have absolutely talked about us doing um like that style of of commercial. He's like, "Bro, I will get the guitar out and play Arms of the Angel." I'm like, "Fucking, we got to do it. We got to do it." My boy Bubba needs it. Sweet Bubs. Hey, listen, if you don't follow best friend Mo, Feel my new arms, bitch. You should. She's a wonderful. She's she's actually just pivoted over to uh, variety streaming, um, and tonight she's hanging out as she typically does on Wednesdays with frog ass motherfucker Cracko, um, and uh, they're doing um, they're doing crafting and crime on Wednesdays now, so they'll work on stuff together and um, like. Sometimes they'll talk about serial killers. Sometimes they'll uh, talk about like dude Cracko was like reading scary stories a couple weeks ago. Like it's just all kinds of stuff that they do now. But go follow both of them and tell them that I sent you. Um, Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Oh hi! Fifteen months. Pup's been very busy lately. Pup's had all kinds of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. She's got her. She's got them, them new job highs and hanging out with the boy and doing all kinds of stuff. She just started doing some weight training again and new job, you. new man, fireworks. She, she's got it all going on, man. Um. So, but yeah. Uh. Yeah, we're we're getting there. Like I said, it's just one of those one of those things. Just got to take a little bit of time and see how how it goes. Um, generally, a very happy but very sleepy pup. Boy, I I feel that fucking sleepy this week. Holy fuck, Nuggets! I feel that hard. Uh, what in the hell is this? Yeah, I haven't, uh, what in the hell? Well, this is oh, I already had to do my uh my first round of jank for the for the Steam Deck. Oh no! What did you have to do now? So the install or the the first time setup wasn't it was it was hanging uh -huh. when I was doing the first round of updates. Yeah. And I went and I looked around, and someone was like, "The only way I could get it to work in my initial install was to tether it to my phone and let the install happen that way." So I tethered it to my phone, and I'll be damned. Congratulations on your Linux PC. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, walking tacos. Um, I haven't had one in a while, but the last time I had one, I was actually at Tom's sister's house. Um, in walking tacos, a lot of times what you'll do is you'll take like a bag of corn chips, like a bag of Fritos, and then you just put all your stuff in there, like your your meat and your your veggies, your cheese, your salsa, all that good stuff, and just mix that some bitch up and just eat it right out of the bag. Yeah, that stuff is delicious. I love it. Uh, uh, Legendary Edition is... Almost done. Nice. Should be done in about 11 minutes. 
哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗哗。Let's see something here. Need a glove for that kind of meal. Listen, it's a mess, but you know it's going to be delicious. Let's see what we got here. Um, I'm trying to figure out something, you know, as I do. This is horse shit, and I can't get into my account for uh, my the one voice site that I actually got paid from. Whoa! Uh -oh. Well, that's no fun. Whoa! Uh -oh. Uh oh. Control yourselves. This is a mature party. And no. I will. Well, what are you up to? What are you doing tonight? Just chatting. What are you talking about? Welcome in, Raiders. How are you? Good to see you. Um. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, Vivi Cat. Um. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, strudel doodles. Oh, I like that. That's fun. That's fun. Playing Hollow Knight? Nice. Nice. Vanilla, or are we playing a randomizer? Um, for those of you coming in from Will's Raid, welcome. I'm Zunderscore. I'm a variety streamer. I do this four nights a week. Tonight's group therapy night where we just kind of talk about whatever's on our mind. And since I've been gone for the last two weeks, been kind of talking about stuff what's been going on with me. Iceberg good. And, More iceberg. You know, stuff More like good. that. Strudel, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. He played so well. Nice. Well done, Will. Um, and then uh, let's see what else. Um, Fridays is are typically Xbox Game Pass You Pick Night, where you can save up your channel points and pick a game for me to play in a future stream. This Friday, we're actually doing something special with our friend Sassinator. I'm um, gonna play Just Die already, where you're a bunch of old people escaping a funeral home and trying to finish the stuff on your bucket list and it's apparently ridiculous and wild and stuff um sundays we alternate between Fortnite and retro game night and then uh mondays we play final fantasy 14 for mmo mondays so welcome in um yeah i was just about to talk about that because uh pup was just asking about that um the vacation was fantastic um my brain is just now getting off of um of west coast of pacific and alaskan time um but it was fantastic um absolutely beautiful um landscape in the alaskan inside passage uh lots of delicious food and lots of delicious seafood um i had this seafood chowder and bean got this clam chowder that was probably the best clam chowder that both either one of us have ever had in our lives so that was absolutely fantastic um and of course me being me i ate tons of food on the boat um because we were on an alaskan cruise for a week so that was it was just absolutely fantastic all around um didn't want to be done with it but really wanted to come home very much missed the kitty and she is wandering about being a kitty somewhere right now um, speaking of, for those who missed it earlier, there are loaf emotes now. Um, the regular loaf is a 5,000 bit, uh, reward. The nom is a tier one sub and the roll is tier two. So all bless, all hail the loaf, bless the loaf. 
best loaf. She has given me so many kisses since we've been home. I cannot go down to my spot. Iceberg needs it for down. everyday hustling. Strudel, thank you for that sub. I appreciate that. Um, I cannot go sit in my spot downstairs without her like almost immediately climbing on me and just like settling in right here and just so many kitty kisses just so 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 many kitty kisses um so yeah it's been fantastic and she's already um like given me like a rash on my chest where she's licked like right here um it is it is heavily abraded She's basically just like sweet little sandpaper, just um, but she's the best kitty in the whole world, and I love her very much. That's my loaf. That's the loaf of loaf. Um, uh, let's see what else. Um, but yeah, I got to see some friends in Seattle that I haven't seen in several years. Had dinner with them the night before we left for the cruise. Um. Stayed at this beautiful hotel that overlooked um, the Pike Place Market. Strudel, listen, thank you for stopping in. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. And I look forward to seeing you again. Um, but... Until we meet again. <laughs> Curse you, He-Man. <laughs> my sinuses are still getting readjusted to the Florida heat and, and stuff so and humidity so I can't do my Skeletor as well as I normally can uh. <sighs> so yeah um. but yeah we got vacation was fantastic lots of food Lots of pictures. Uh, I know Bean is still sorting through hers and getting ready to move them over to our shared folder um, so that we can go through all of them and see all of them together. Um, but yeah, it was just absolutely fantastic time. I got some really, really, really good pictures. Let's see if I can. Now, oh, this is a pretty good one. Let me open this one up. This one's pretty good. I was fairly proud of this picture. That wasn't too bad. This was in um, uh, Indicott Arm. Um, it's a little inlet in the inside passage. So that was really good. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. This was like at, I don't know, like 6, 7 in the morning. Something like that. Like the sun was up at like 3, 4. Because, um, you know. All right, science time. The Earth, the Earth doesn't stand up straight. The Earth tilts on its axis. 20 some odd degrees, I forget the exact number. Anyway, the point is, Earth is tilted. So in the summertime, what happens is, in the Northern Hemisphere, where it's summer, okay, when it's summer, so like the, the June, July, August, September time frame of the year. Um, yeah, pup, you need to go take a rest. You've been very busy the last several days you've been doing lots of hard work and stuff so go get some rest i love your face talk to you soon um so what happens is because the earth tilts on its axis the sun's rays still come at it straight but during the summer months the further north you go the longer it takes for night to fall and then there are a couple of times a couple of days during the year where the sun doesn't set um, and the further up north you go, the longer that lasts. There are sometimes, then there are some parts of the world where there are months between sunrise and sunset. Um, and so we were, um, up there during a period of when we had a midnight sun. Um, we didn't stay awake for it. 
because we live in Florida. We know what the sun looks like. And we sure as shit don't want to see it at midnight. But regardless, absolutely gorgeous. Loved, loved, loved it. Uh, let's see. I think there was one other one. Oh, let me see if I can get the one waterfall. Is this, is this the good one? Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a solid one right there. There we go. And like just all of these waterfalls coming off the mountain from where like snow just melting coming down the mountain. Just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, just absolutely beautiful. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Let me see, there's... Um, what we got here? This is one that I showed earlier, and I just, I love the coloration on this one. This is, this one, I, I, I really like this one. I actually got some, from some fairly decent shots on this cruise, on this trip. So, you know, worked out really well. Anyway, that was, yeah, the short version trip was fantastic. Very tired, very glad to be home, very good time. Um, yeah, lots of food, so much food. Jesus Christ at the food. There was one there was one dinner where I actually had two full entrees. I had like a turkey dinner with cranberry sauce and everything. And then I also had um like a strip loin roast. That was fantastic. Really, really liked that. So yeah. Oh. 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 It's happening. Uh oh. Go on, I'm listening. It's it, installing. Is it installing Mass running, Effect? Running install scripts. It's running install scripts. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. He's very excited, folks. He is all about that Steam Deck today. I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to end up having to do some some jank to get through the launcher but yeah yeah i'm not sure we'll have to see yeah it happens you do what you can you know Am I going to have to remember my origin login? Uh, probably, yes. Kind of just hoping Steam remembers, remembers it from my desktop and just does it. I doubt it, but 
Oh, it just did. Oh, it did? I, I'm in the launcher. Well, that's kind of wild. <gasps> and my games are, my saves are ported over. <gasps> oh, who's a happy lolly? Oh my lolly. god. Oh boy. Pepper I'm farmers. in. Viv, you need to go get some sleeps, buddy. It is sleepy times for you. Go get some sleeps. And I will talk to you tomorrow. I love your face. My God. This is what I wanted on the Switch. Oh, it's 60 FPS, too. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Fix that later. I'm getting rid of the stupid origin pop up. Oh man. How you doing over there? I doubt my mic is picking it up, but I love it. Oh my god. He's very into it. Oh, boy. This is this is what I'm here for. All right. This is fantastic. Well, now, what else? What are you going to install now? Uh, I have Mass Effect and Power Wash Simulator. I don't know. I think the next thing is the easy one with getting um, Cloud onto here. Because that's just installing a beta version of Edge and getting that set up. And then adding that as a non-Steam game, and then it'll just open open that web page as a Steam game, and that works, nice. just like the Xbox app. Um, and then the next thing is figuring out how to get 14 installed on here when my 14 account is a Square Enix account and not a Steam account. It means I have to probably download 14 as in the Steam OS instead of just on the the, the deck screen because you yeah. can then launch into the steam os from there mm -hmm. and um it was and that's why i think i need to download it there get it set up and then add it as a non-steam game and then i can log into it from there and stuff Well, I can't get into the one website that uh, that I use. It looks like my account doesn't even exist there now for voice stuff. 
which is not ideal. But I've also read, you know, not always the, the best things about that site either. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. I sent a, a support email to him. I don't know. <sighs> Hello, would you like a fresh loaf? New loaf just dropped. Oh, dropped and sneepy. Oh, sneepy hey. loaf. Hey, do you remember when you were concerned about whether or not she would adapt to her new life? Her, her new house that you have gifted her? Listen. Listen, you never know until you get there. That was months ago, okay? That was like almost six months ago now. And then you went and did the ultimate sin. And you, left. you left her. I know. I know. But that's, there's the Loferino doing her a heckin' snoozle. She's the best loaf in the whole world. Being sneepy and snoozling. A uh, do, do. I'll just have to cover software, click the icon. <sighs> Boy, I'm tired. I am just one tired old bear. I can't wait until Saturday when I can actually sleep in again. It's going to be mm -hmm. fantastic. There's got to be a pull-out keyboard or something. Do do deck desktop mode keyboard. I tell you what, if this place uh just closed my fuck fucking account without telling me, uh I am gonna raise some hell because I paid for a subscription that I'm not even able to use right now. <laughs> And we are not going to have that. No, sir. Not a chance. Oh, man.
Man, I, my brain is just shutting off. Hmm. Makes sense though, because it is the end of the day. It is. It is the end of the day, and coming off of a long weekend and the vacation and boy howdy boy howdy Hmm. I'm going to need to buy a, a USB-C hub for this, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because a keyboard and, and mouse would be very handy for the stuff I want to do. I got to get over here and make sure that the uh, that there are USB-C ports on the front of this rig, because I can't really see it from here. Um. And that new soundboard I want to get has USB-C out. It also does Wi-Fi and Ethernet, which is fantastic. But if I'm going to have it working with this machine, I want it plugged into this machine. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah. Oh, man. Thanks, Ace. How are you, bud? Good to see you. I am just... My brain is... is... fried. It is just... Ridiculously fried. Chilling out, enjoying life. Nice. Hi, Nova. I went and saw Nova this morning because she was Strimmons. I went and go, went to go see her because I missed her bunches. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Louie! Louie, thanks for 11 months, buddy. And a very good morning to you, sir. I hope you're doing well. Boy, I really want this soundboard. Not this goddamn thing. Monster Sanctuary is verified for deck. Oh god, the new DLC just came out. Okay, so I actually got a couple of emails from Team Seventeen who published Monster Sanctuary and Um They actually had um, asked me if I wanted to do a preview of the new DLC, which I just didn't have time for. Um, just getting ready for everything for the vacation and stuff. That's what your friends call you, Miss Bunches. Oh, I love you, Miss Bunches. Um, stuck in the basement is quarantining, but not long. Oh, oof, oof. I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, anyway. Um, what was I saying? I forgot. What was I saying? Good question. I forget. Shit. It's gone now. It's gone. I lost it. I don't even know. My brain is gone. But anyway, I want this board. And I got to make sure I get a USB-C on the front of this machine. Otherwise, I can't 
Uh, I can't plug it in directly. Boy, it's a pretty soundboard. I gotta get the. I gotta. I. I'm kind of want to see if I can play with the the software and see if I can. Um. Install the software and like start fucking with it. Like without the hardware. I sincerely doubt it. But maybe. No, it's just buy and find out. Listen, buddy, that's that is upwards of dollars. I told you that's that's a lot of money. And listen, Tom said it best. What what a complete vacation sandwich is best done with technology purchases on either end. Tom's exact quote was hardware is the bread of a vacation sandwich, as Gandhi once said. Sure. And I and I told him I said that sounds that's a very Ron Burgundy esque quote. Which in fairness it is. But I mean, man, but look at this. Is it board. wrong? I mean, no, it's not wrong. Like, look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. That is, that's, a, that's a full color touch screen on this bad boy. Four Nutric inputs, four headphone jacks, main outs, individual volume control for the headphones. There's a jog up here. There's the, there are six banks what's i don't even know what the other two are for i don't even know i don't even know because there are only four physical inputs on this son of a bitch 60 percent of the time it works every time and, but god look it's so pretty like, look at it look how pretty it is sitting on that table look at the pretty colors and the dials look how happy they are to be using this thing look at the cabling Oh man. <laughs> oh, Louis, thanks Look for the, the work, buddy. I love you. Look at this. I gotta clean my goddamn desk before I do anything, that's for sure. I still have my broken surface headphones up here. Which I need to just recycle somehow. You can Bluetooth, I think you can Bluetooth in and out of this thing. I think you can Bluetooth like phones in or phones through. You can Bluetooth speakers out. <laughs> it really stings the nostrils. Like... It's got this ridiculous preamp on it, and up to 76 decibels. That's just the noise. Oh, my God. I love it, and I need it. Okay, let me see if I can find you. This is the USB effects. This is the, the model up from the one that I have. What you got there? I don't know. Oh, go for you being snuggly cat to bomb. Huh? You being snuggly Baby. cat? Baby! No. 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 Oh, there's some purpers. She's a purper kitten. Yeah. Yeah, she's so purpery. Yeah. That's my loaf. The best loaf. The best loaf in the whole world. Yeah. That's my loaferino. 
Can you go? I love you. You know? You know that I love you? Huh? This is? Oh yeah, I just... Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Oh, sneaky cat. Jean was just saying how she was giving her lots of snuggles and she stretched out and she snugged up on her face. Oh. Oh, that's a sweet though. Oh, can I have kisses? Hey. Oh, if you want the pits. That's my loaf. My loaf. Yeah, they don't make the they don't make mine anymore. They make this one, which is the model up from it, because it has like its own effects unit built in. It's basically the same as mine, though, just with the effects on it. So yeah, see how this has like different effects and you can change the effects like um, intensity here. Like up top, mine is basically identical. And I'm just missing the effects row and the effects knob here. That, that. Internal slash USB to main. Oh, you can turn that on or off? On that one? Oh, I didn't know that. I got phantom power though. Does this have phantom power? Maybe it's on the back? Yeah, there's phantom power switch on the back. Mine's on the top. Anyway, this is basically the thing that I would be replacing. Let me close that. With this. Really want it. Really fucking pretty. But I need to wait because it's not time yet. And I need to clean off my goddamn desk. Because that's... Yeah. That's the other prerequisite. Uh, okay. That's enough of that. Actually, I think that's enough of everything. I'm, I'm just... I'm a very tired bear. And it's my first night back. I'm going to go and just relax for a few and sip on some tea. Um, so we're going to go see some new folks tonight. We're, we're going to go ahead and raid out here in a second. Let me... Where's the... There we go. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and raid out here in a minute. Um... But we're going to go see some new folks. Um, let me shout them out real quick. So, we're going to go see Some Good Shows. Now, Some Good Shows is a channel, um, they're a podcast network, um, and they have, like, the one that immediately comes to mind is the MCU Thoughtcast, and it is these these two women, these self-proclaimed thoughts who are watching the MCU movies through for the, for the first time, and boy, they have opinions, like wondering about, you know, when Bruce Banner hulks out, does his dick do it too? And so, yeah, we know it does, Bean. Bean, Bean assures me that it does. Um, so we're going to go see them. Uh, they're actually raising money right now for the Missouri Abortion Fund. Um, we didn't get a chance to really talk about it tonight because I just... Brain's not in, in full enough power to, but uh, short version is... Um, uh, fuck this current Supreme Court that we have. Um, they are stripping rights away from people left and right, and it's just going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Um, so, um, they are raising money for a really good cause over there. Um, 
Jeopardy is currently being hosted by Pilnock. She's hilarious, and yeah, it's it's going to be great. So we're going to go see them. Um, be good to them. They're they're new friends of ours, um, so you know we don't want to scare them away just yet. Um, but yeah, uh, we will be back on Friday. Um, again, currently scheduled to do uh, Just Die already with Sassy and Friends. Uh, hopefully that won't change, but if it does, I will let everybody know. I'm still waiting to hear back from her to make sure that we're all verified and ready to go for that. Otherwise, that's about that. Hey, thank you all again for being here. Um, could not do this without you. Literally could not do this without you. Um... And, um, yeah, hoping that things kind of get supercharged here in the, the back half of the year. Um, and I can't wait to see what the rest of the year brings. Um, all right, I'm, I'm going to go give extra snuggles to the kitty before bed. I love you. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And I'll see you on Friday for whatever it ends up being. Get out of here. I totally fucked that up. I completely fucked that up and just just ignore it and it's just going to go away. Goodbye.